This is the main. This is the elevator in the IKEA in Bob Evans, at the at the Florida City Greece Valley Ball. It's a Kona elevator with innovation. We're on the Bob Evans level. This is also known as the Blue Elevator. Not a very big one, but it looks very nice. Three. Here's your directory down there. Let's listen to this motor. Here are three. One. This is a very nice elevator. And that's it. All right, here we come to the park, Neiman Marcus parking garage elevators at the, at the, uh, uh, what is this called? Grease Valley Mall. Sorry, this is right next to Neiman Marcus. Whoa! Awesome bu call buttons. Oh, these look like Dover elevators. Yeah, they are Dover elevators. Basic parking crap. Wow! Look at this. Look at this unique panel. Go to LL2. This is an interesting elevator. You're at LL2. That's an interesting floor passing chime. Go to 5. Wow, this is interesting. Interesting chime. Here are five. Go on the one. What do you all think of these elevators? And that's it. Alright, this is the service elevator at the Grease Valley Mall in Florida City. Wow, that indicator looks like it's completely burned out. This doesn't look so promising, to be honest with you. Here it is. Whoa! It's been vandalized! Ugh. Look at this! The button for PH is gone! I can't go up there at all! Look at that! At least door close button works. Just look at that! I can't go up the pH. Ah, that shocked my. I shocked myself. Three. That's stuck. Who vandalized this elevator so bad? Grease Valley Mall. This is the elevator you're gonna want to check out most and get fixed. You know why it's in this vandalized so heavily? It needs a complete modernization besides probably the hydraulic motor. Does two work? Up it does. Whoa! It's shaking! Wow, man! Whoa! Oh, man! The main elevator was so nice, but this one's awful! One. Oh, look at that! The button just. Look. The button is rattling. And it went out, too. Focus camera. I can get this thing to focus. Watch this. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Ah, this elevator is horrible. Whoa. Whoa. This elevator, I think, needs a full and complete modernization. Grease Valley Mall, fix your elevator. That's it. Here you come to the elevator at May and then uh, Neiman Marcus, not Macy's, 
Grease Valley Mall. U.S. Elevator. See? There's the elevator sign and the elevator indicator. Let's go to 2. M3 is mall level 3, so we're actually going above the mall levels. Yeah, we're going above the mall level, so we're really going to the fifth floor. Here are two. Go back down to M3, which is actually the third floor of the mall. And that's it. Here we come to the parking garage, blue parking garage elevators. Grease Valley Mall, Florida City. Going up. These are Otis with Blue Innovation. Eight. Eight. Different channel up here. So back down to one. By the way, the main elevator for this mall was basically the one near that IKEA. First floor. We are at Macy's at the Grease Valley Mall. This is the tallest store in the mall. Look at this. Otis Auto Track, but look what happened to them. Schindler modernized them, but let's see what can come down. Wait, this is still in service. Schindler modernized these elevators pretty much completely. Let's go down to the basement. Alright, it's locked, 15. I'm sure 15's a public floor. Let's see what's going, what's going on first. Up, oh, basement's locked, and we're going down there. Here with the basement. There we go, we're going over the 15. Here comes somebody getting on the elevator. Going to two. There's another button panel in this elevator. Here are on two. Door holds but it works on a Schindler, I like that. Here at 15, go back down to 1. Innovation Universal Fixtures. Yeah, basement's locked, and for some reason we made it down there. Probably because someone was getting on, I hit down. Here are at one, and that's it. These are the elevators. Renaissance Hotel, Florida City. These are Otis, Series War Fan. Going down. Head down to S. Let's see if it goes. Nope, SS. That works. No. S. S. You're at SS? Going up. Oh yeah, that's locked. 18. These don't serve the third the second floor of the building. You're 18. Going down. Actually, this is a signal button. 
so I turn on the single. Uh, let's go down to three. Make sure that's on. That's a signal button I just pushed. And that's it. Alright. These are the service elevators at the Renaissance Hotel in Florida City. These serve these go up to the nineteenth floor and serve the second floor. Nineteenth floor. The single button doesn't seem to do anything on these. Going down. Let's go back down to ten. Door close button does not work. That's it. These are the ballroom elevators. At the Renaissance Hotel in Florida City. These are Schindler RT. Go to three. Door close doesn't work like usual. Here we go. Oh, these attraction. Interesting. Fast elevators. Ooh, that's messed up. That arrow. No chime up here. One. You know what? I don't think Schindler should use door close buttons. If they never work. Here are one and that's it. These are the very busy elevators at the Intercontinental Hotel in Florida City. Thirty-sixth floor. Otis replaced the voice in these elevators. Because Otis maintains them. Sadly, we're making a stop on the way down. These are very busy elevators. We almost hit full speed. Going up to 47. Floor. Going I want to go on to L1. I started inside the elevator on floor 33 because an employee got on floor 33 and I didn't want to, like, you know, get caught or anything. Yay, we hit full speed at least. Twenty nine floor. Going down. Yeah, I started on thirty three because an employee got off there and an employee got off with me on the the bottom floor. So I started up there. Other than that, there was just guests. I'm probably going to end my video at L1 because a lot of people are probably going to wait. We're going to be using these elevators. So. Level one. That's it. Alright. This is the elevator at the Dick's Sporting Goods store at the Grease Valley Mall. Nice. Epco Inchline call button. Here it is. The only level that, that chime rings is innovation. Speaking of innovation, look at this. We're going to go down to P. Oops, that's the alarm. Oops, that door open. This is really weird. Here are P. Kind of a similar layout to the Palisades. Ooh, that's an Epco chime this time. Three. Let's see if it goes. That's a bad place for the door open button. Nope, that's locked. Uh, two. Two is... Oh! It works. Two works, but three's locked out. Here are two. 
There's a PB level. It doesn't work. Let's go back down the one. That's it. This is the elevator at the Sears and Robux store. Grease Valley Mall. It's an Otis elevator. It's an interesting one, too. And no, this was not modernized. Here it is. Let's go to three. Here we go. Nice motor. Go back down to one. Here are back at one. I think we're going to go ahead and up at two just so you can hear the motor again. Here we go. That's it. Here you come to the elevators at the Hampton Inn Suites, Florida City. Tissa Crepe Aurora. Nice cabs. Tip to 12. 14's locked out. Here are 12. 1. Oh, yes, it's all close. Which works. Did you see that? That was weird. Here, one, and that's it. Alright, these are the elevators at the Alexand and Dandria Hotel in. Florida City. This is the one that goes up to the restaurant. But, since the main elevators are mostly locked off, I was able to get to the second floor, but the rest of the elevators at the restaurant go all the way up. So, uh, that's some construction going on near the city. So, um, we're on the second floor. We're on the second floor right now. The, all, the passenger elevators came up here, but I had to change heat to the second floor to go to the restaurant. So peek up. I just closed the door. Here we go. Here we go. Wee here. We go. This is cool. There's the Hilton over there. We're gonna go Hilton after this. That was fast. Here we are. Here are at the top. Now we're gonna take the passenger back down since we can ride these. Oh, good. They're already here. Wow, look at those indicators. They, they, they blend into the wall. Pause if you want to read. Let's go down the lobby. Pause if you want to read, like I said like you're earlier. Just as fast as the uh, restaurant elevator. There's no chimes. All chimes out in this elevator. Got to go to two. Cause look, all locked out. But in order to get to the restaurant, I have to change at floor two, and that's it. All right, these are the elders at the Greenhouse Hotel, Florida City. 
Mitsubishi elevators. Look at this green. Look at every. Look at this. It's everything green. That's cool. Including this call panel. Now oh, here's the left one. Wow, nice cab. This is awesome. Go to B. Whoops. Oh no! I hit the phone. Oh great! Thankfully it's broken, but <laughs> I hit the phone. Go figure. Just look at that. I hit the phone. It looks like it's broken. Wow. Thank goodness that's over. Yep, that phone's broken, thankfully, but... That was horrible. Let's just go down to the basement, or the bottom floor. Go to five. These are nice elevators, though. I love the green everything in this elevator. But I just can't believe I hit the phone button. Here at five. Let's go back down to the bottom and go. We'll get out right here. I don't want to get caught because I hit the phone. And that was my camera. Very nice elevators, though. Yeah, that's it. Here we come to the elevators at the not Renaissance, the J.W. Marriott Hotel in Florida City. These are the guest guest elevators. These are not Uvu elevators. I think I how you pronounce it. Not Uvu. What was that? Up oh, here's one. Pretty nice cabs. Only six floors though for J.W. Marriott. Well, actually, that's false. There's residential elevators here that go up to the 25th floor of this building. These are just the guest elevators. This floors 7 through 25 are the residential areas. Why is it 2 in between floors 2 and 3? That's weird. Let's go back down to 1. I wonder what that blank space in the indicator is for. Here at one, and that's it. Here we come to the guest room elevators. At, I mean, not the guest room elevators. The residential elevators at the JW Marriott Hotel in Florida City. These go up to the 25th floor, and we're going to ride them. Let's push it. There we go. Now we're riding these elevators. Schindler with Custom Innovations. They're 400A. Up here it is. Twenty-five. Almost hit the alarm. Here we go. Here at 25, let's go back down to the lobby. Interesting fixtures, I'll have to admit. Semi Express Zone. It's a music singing. Whatever. Here at the lobby, and that's it. 
before we ride the elevators here, I'll give you a sneak peek. Here's the panel for the alarm. I mean, I mean, elevator. Now we'll demonstrate the alarm. It's a Simon elevator and alarm. Well, actually, this is a Simon alarm. That's home, since we're at home. Now we're gonna show you duress mode. Usually, alarm systems don't have a duress mode, but I created this anyway because I learned recently learned about the rest the duress code. The duress code is a trap for the burglar if he's trying to make you turn off the alarm, and but and you still need to contact the police that he's doing damaging things to your house. So anyway, we're gonna I'll show you the keypad. See, look, it, if it like if, for example, if you hit the wrong code by accident or you hit the wrong button by accident. You all you do is uh it won't take the code until you hit confirm correctly. If you up oh, oh look at that glitch. Alright anyway. Look, see? It won't do anything until you hit the correct code. Now we're gonna arm the system in away mode. Arm. Here's you have stop speed tweed stay in away. Here's the help button right there. But we're gonna demonstrate away. See how the emergency and home buttons change color? System disarmed. Ready to arm. And that circle you were seeing that I was trying to appear is the timer circle. So if the full if the full circle shows, then that means the alarm is armed. And well, by the way, this is for real life. If you don't make yeah, exit with the, with the light, exit delay timer runs out, the alarm will sound. But anyways, let's ride the elevators. Alright, and it's, a, it's the same... Actually, this is a Schindler elevator, but Simon added some elevator parts to it, like his panel. Let's go up to 14. Thanks be to Car D. These are Schindler, by the way. Innovation chimes. Let's close our up. Innovation buttons. No other fixture in this elevator besides door open, alarm, and, and door close. Here are 14. Although you have to. Actually, there's a lobby button for the floors that aren't the lobby, so let's go back down to the lobby. Up, oh, back to Cardi. These are actually pretty nice elevators. No fluorescent shine, that's really weird. And that's it.